Test. One, two. One, two. All right, all right. Good evening and good night. And welcome to the It's Your Perspective talk show. It is uh, it's Tuesday, December 8, 2015. My name is David, a.k.a. Kimba, a.k.a. Christian, alongside Soup. Soup is back in the studio, man. Thank you for coming out, you know? Yes, I I just want to say that this is the It's Your Perspective talk show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, weekly, 8 p.m. until. Uh, we do have a telephone number, 340-201-9005. You can also text us on that number. But most importantly, you have to go to our website, uh, streaming live from the vi.com. Uh, we also have email streaming live from the vi at yahoo.com as well. Um, for our guest tonight, we are in the high tech, low tech studio coming to you from an undisclosed location here in St. Croix, Virgin Islands. No radio, no TV, internet only. Internet which means, only. That's it, man. Internet <laughs> only. You got to get your, uh, your, your, your Android, your iPhone, your tablet, your iPad. Your Mac or your Windows PC, open up your browser and type in streaming live from the vi.com. You'll be able to see the show tonight because we do have a special guest in the studio. I guess you heard her laughing there just a few minutes ago. Uh, but as we continue on here, I just want to say that uh, all our recorded live shows are on YouTube, Ustream, uh, TV and YouTube.com. Over, uh, we're right around 250 shows, Soup, man. We've just been blazing the trail. Yes. Uh, our channel is It's Your Perspective Talk Show. Uh, we have two Facebook pages as well. Uh, I want to give a, a mad, mad shout out to CHS class of 1982. Uh, that's the year that uh, I'm representing as well. Uh, shout out to Vanessa, Julie, uh, Cherise King, uh, Audrey Brown, and many others that have been uh, co-hosting uh, on the show with me here. And most importantly, to all our past guests, thank you for coming out and being on the show. We're also on Twitter. Hit us up at VI Perspective. Tweet with us. Super moving straight forward and up. The show's mission is just to inform, entertain, and empower everyone. And as we roll out here, man, any kind words of wisdom, Soup? Our praises be to the living age. Ja Rastafari. And we're going to put our guest on the spot real quick. Uh, there she is right there. There she is right there. It's Nikki Brooks. Wave to the crowd. You're streaming out right now. They are seeing you. And so, Nikki, I'm going to put you on the spot real quick. Uh, kind words of wisdom. And this is what's on my cheat sheet she here. So, any kind words of wisdom here that you'd like to share? Be yourself. Don't let nobody change you. Okay, hear it there, yes, man. Uh, so our guest tonight is Nikki Brooks. Uh, she says that she's St. Croix's first female Calypso monarch uh, artist, I guess. Is that how that goes? Uh, is that, uh, Not St. Croix's first Calypso monarch female. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming out uh, to our studio tonight. Uh, you. And uh, I guess you're going to share uh, who you are, what, you know, uh, your beginnings. Uh, I just heard you on the radio the other day. Uh, for the first time, I caught a little bit of interview there. But uh, other than that, I never really uh, uh, heard of you. No disrespect. Mm -hmm. uh, have you heard of her soup? No. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but she says, uh, and I think I think a lot of people realize that this young lady here is a powerhouse when it comes to the Soka and Calypso music. Um, so welcome. Thank you for having uh, me here. Uh, You're welcome. Um, so tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, uh, how did you get into this whole thing of music? Uh, well, uh... I've been singing really from seven years old. Um, when uh, Cruise and Christmas Fiesta used to have um, down at the Ford down in Christiansted. Um, seven years old, got on stage with a whole band, Tony Richards. <laughs> a whole band and went leave the band. Start singing, I believe the children are our future. <laughs> and they had to stop playing because... I took over the whole thing. Okay. There wasn't no more music. <laughs> okay. It was just instrumental. I mean, a cappella. That was acapella, it. A cappella, right. And from there, that was it. I've, music is in my blood. My dad plays drums. He's played here with Taco and the Playboys. Uh, several other bands years ago, a drummer, they used to call him Lil Otis. Okay, okay. So Nikki Brooks have a long history when it comes to music. And also my father's family is from Anguilla. And most of uh, my family down there in Anguilla also does music. Okay, yeah. okay. I've lived in St. Thomas. I've sang with Vio International, Imagination Brass, Heart Attack, okay. Image Band. Okay. Yeah, okay, I've been around. Okay. So <laughs> I, I, one of the things that I caught through via uh, your Facebook page was that you were in Anguilla just recently, right? And you were doing some big concert there? I, I did. A, um, now, I went there to record. I'm doing my music um, in my second home, okay. Um, for the, for my first for, for this album that I'm I'm releasing in, in March. Okay. Um, but um, while there, a friend of mine, Dano, um, asked me to come up and sing a, a my a, a old time track by uh, singing Sandra, and I did, 
and um, then they won't let me out the stage and I end up doing my Know Me Now song. That's really a big hit there. Yeah. How long ago was this, you said, um, Nikki? That was uh, well, about a week and a half, two okay. weeks. Okay, all, right. mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. So what's coming up now for the new season that we have here coming up on us? Well, I, if you haven't heard, I put my, <laughs> I throw my hat back in to the Calypso and the Soca world. The Calypso um, and the Soca world? Yeah, man. I ain't, okay. I ain't really, I just took a, a, a little breather. Sometimes you got to step back right. to see what's really going on. And I decided to come back in. I need, I, I'm, I'm venturing out into international waters and the U.S. waters as a solo artist. Instead of going with a band, yes. it's going to be Nikki Brooks and my band. Is this the first time you're doing this, Nikki? Um, yeah, in this time, yeah. I've done Nikki Brooks with Quiet Fire before. Um, that's when I was... I remember Quiet Fire. Yeah, I've played... I was, we used to open Riptide, close down Riptide. Quiet Fire and Nikki Brooks is the reason Riptide became Riptide. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, going to my own album and stuff, this is really the first time, yes. Okay. I've sang with many bands, did other albums, but not my own. So you already have your band together? Or is it something that you're working on now? No, I have, I have an electrifying band. Okay. <laughs> That's see the name back. there? See the band name right there? Let me see if you can see good. <laughs> Company. Company. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so these are all local, local musicians that are a part of it? Definitely. Uh, okay. Local musicians and um, they had the young, not too young, but the experience is a new flavor. Okay. And, and that's what the VI need is a new flavor. Okay. Okay. So um, you, you're gonna have your band anywhere during the season here performing? Well, I know we're coming down Parade Road. Okay, so you definitely have your band there. Definitely for road march, VI style, all the way. Okay. And my band gonna be in a double decker truck. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Yeah, we're coming down large and in out, charge. Better watch out for them wires. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we have a pole. <laughs> we have a pole for the wires. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. Um, yeah, but my band will be front and center then. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Um, so we're going we're gonna to do a song here first. Uh, I'm coming out. Tell us a little bit about the motivation for this song here. Well, like I said, I was out for a little while. And... Um, I do all kinds of music, R&B, jazz, country, everything I sing, reggae, everything. But for me, Diana Ross is elegant. She's a diva. And she's, you know, I always have this, she's always been sophisticated, you know. She could be rude when she's ready, but she's always been a lady. So I figure what better song to come out, come back in with not remaking I'm Coming Out. It's not for sale. It would not be on my CD. Okay. But I, I, I did an honor to her by yes. singing that song. Okay. So you, you, you're a big fan of hers. You like her movies. Very much so. Her, her I love her movies. I love Di my, my My idols or my favorite singers are Diana Ross, Patsy Cline, which is country, Billie Holiday, which is jazz. Yes, I love Billie Holiday. And Singing Sandra. Okay. okay. Singing Sandra. Who's oh, that? From what? Um, David, when we leave here, I'm going to give you a, a, um, a whole history of Calypso. Music? I have to, you know, sing in oh. Sandra Bay? No, I never heard. I never heard. What? That is a legend. Okay, okay. All a right. legend in her own right. All right, so, so, so how long have you been taking a hiatus, um, Nikki? Well, it's about three years, about three years. About three years. Yeah, about three And what inspired you now to come back into the, into the game again, as they were call it? <laughs> you know what? Music is in my blood, and... I had to take a step back to regroup and catch myself. Because I think I was going in the wrong direction. The music or, or the industry? In so. my life. Oh, your life. Okay, yeah. all right. When, you know, like, I, I was doing too much. Okay. And when you're doing too much things, then you kind of lose focus on what's the most important, you know? I, I, my, my, my kids, my music, and my partner, my life, I had to make sure I put everything into perspective. Mm. And everything have its right time and its right place. Okay. And right now, my kids and my relationship is fine. It's all about the music. Okay, gotcha. So my manager, who is my partner, put himself aside now to focus on my music. Yeah. Okay. So it's the right time. Okay. And that's I feel good about it. When you feel good, that's what you got to do. Good. So, um, so now that the Christmas is here upon us now, um, you're working on new, on new things. Well, I guess because that... This is your coming out release. Yeah. 
Okay, so I guess you have a whole array of things waiting to slam me with. Man, you just <laughs> don't even know what coming. <laughs> Jesus, so, you don't so know. So the, the, these songs I have here are for, for 2015 and 16. So you have stuff prior? No, I have stuff. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of stuff prior. But me focusing on the old, like coming in with the new. Oh, okay. hot and new. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, you yes, got to. Yes, yes. The new sound, a new Nikki Brooks. Okay. All right. All right, man, so we're going to play the song here. It's called I'm Coming Out. Uh, take a listen right here. And uh, you can't hear it, but if you put your headphones on... Um, you... I want to mess up my hair. Okay. <laughs> All right. You hear it there. So this is I'm Coming Out. Uh, Nikki is in the studio tonight, man. So take a listen. We'll be right, right back. Stand by. Uh, that was uh, Nikki Brooks, man. Uh, um, I'm coming out. Uh, that's a, a remake of a classic song for you old school heads, uh, yes. Diana Ross. And uh, Nikki's our guest in the studio tonight. Nikki Wave again. They are seeing you live, man. So uh, uh, we were just talking off, off uh, camera there about uh, you just literally coming back. Yeah. And, and these songs, are these. Uh, this is the part of your coming out, uh, I would imagine, right? In, 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 uh, yeah. I wanted to do something different. Okay. And so when you say different, you're, you mean, the, you know, you're, you're, you're singing the music, combination of both? The combination of both. I mean, Diana Ross is something, I mean, let me, let me uh, I call them the youths of today. Let uh -huh. me say it like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got to make sure I get my words right. <laughs> Would not really go back to a Diana Ross. But, you know, a lot of music that's being played now, don't focus or, or don't really play to the hearts of the of people my in my age group. Right. So Definitely. Diana Ross song would. Okay. So this is we could play this in clubs in in, in two plus two and 
Driving. Yeah. You know, it's a nice groovy song. Yes, yes, yes. I remember the song back in the day. This was a long time ago, actually. Quite a long time ago. Not long for me. Me, not about you. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, um, I'm in my 50s, so I remember this song, though. This was like a a song that was very popular back in the day. So you go to the club. uh, (laughs) And this is what they they were playing, you know, in the mix, you know? Yes. Um, So, uh, moving on here, um, the next song that we're going to get to here in a few minutes is called V.I. Style 2016 Soka. Mm -hmm. Uh, What was was that all about? Okay, um, I I released Nomi Now first, but V.I. Style, when I, when I, I, I wanted that song and I started to get my lyrics together and my idea is on social media and all over the world, you're hearing, not the world, when our world, mm-hmm. you're hearing, oh, t- uh, me never coming back home, a bunch of negativity about the Virgin Islands, St. Croix especially. Um, I believe that there's violence in, in the whole world. Uh, we experience violence in every island, um, not only just St. Croix. Yes, it's sad that it, it, it's plaguing us here um, in the rate that it is, but regardless of where what it is, and I wish it wouldn't happening, I'm from here. I ban you. Mm. I am proud to be a Virgin Islander. Yes. All the way. It mm. doesn't matter to me. I mean, it matters that the crime is going on and the violence, and I wish that they would stop killing each other. But you got to take pride in where you're from. Mm. And I take pride that I am from here. Okay. So that song is wave your flag for wherever you're from. Yeah. You don't have to be banned in St. Croix to raise hair. Mm. Because a lot of people come from Dong Islands and United States and, and grew up in the Virgin Islands. Mm. So the song is about bringing back the pride, feeling pride in where you're from or where you raised. Okay. I just ban hair, so I raise hair. But yeah. I have family and friends that ban in St. Kitts, Dominica, but they raise hair too. Okay. So they, when I say raise your flag, VI, I'm proud, I, I'm proud to be from the U.S. Virgin Islands. That's who I am. Okay. I will always be, to the bone. Yeah. So that was done here? <laughs> done here? Huh? The song was done here? My music was done here? No. I was recorded here. Okay. But my producer is not from here. Okay. That's my new sound. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. With this new producer. Okay. Uh, so we're going to take a listen to this here real quick. Um, this is uh, VI Style. Kind of, kind of, we kind of started there a little bit, but. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop that one. I, I think I sent you the instrumental. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. It says VI Style 2016 Soka. Oh, no, you got it off of um, YouTube, right? Yes. Because I, I was just hearing the backup. That's why I asked you. I didn't hear the vocals itself. Okay. Uh, I got it off of YouTube. That's what see. was there. You want me to play it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought I just heard the backup. That's why. Yeah. So this is. We gotta go to another song. Okay. Because I don't know. Yeah. No. Okay. It's it's very soft though. Right. Okay. So is this cool or what? I, no, I think I will have to. I will send it to you right now. Okay, all right. We can do another song or something because I, I would want you to to get the whole thing because I guess coming off of YouTube, you didn't get the whole. I'm not sure why. Uh, I, I don't know. It was, the, uh, it was only two things that I saw there. And, yeah, uh, I can definitely get you the um. Okay. The original okay. now. It won't take me no time. Okay. Um. So then I have uh, the next song is "Know Me Now." Let me see how that one sounds. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Okay. And all these are 2015 songs. Definitely. Okay. Do you think you know me? Do you think you know me? No. We ain't got to send you to do originals. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we just go to the Calypso, but this is this is this is what live TV is. Yeah, yeah. So th- these songs are essentially unfinished, basically, is what you're saying. No, they are finished, but I don't know what transpired in bringing them, taking them from YouTube because the my vocals are very soft in them. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Give me. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go to uh, track two. Yeah, let's go to track two. Track two. Uh, let's try this here. Yeah. So the VI style and the nominal the Sokas. Uh-huh. 
And then these are the two other calypsos. Yes. Okay. Oh, So, um, tell us a little bit about the song real quick before we kind of we kind of let it go full speed. Uh, it just says track two here, so I don't know what the name of the song is. So just tell us tell us all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, this song is one about the heroines of the Virgin Islands. I'm a I'm a strong believer that um, well, it's written in history that we all came from Africa, and along the the slave ship, they dropped us throughout every Caribbean island. So families were separated. Like I could have an uncle drop off in St. Kitts and my mother drop off someplace else, Antigua, whatever it is, or wherever it was. Okay. And some was dropped off in the U.S. Virgin Islands, you, you know, but we all migrated from, we all came from Africa, Africa. through slaves. Yes. Be, be, being slaves. And coming here to St. Croix, we had uh, four queens and... The one queen we hear so much about that started the fire, the fire bond, labor, rebellion was Queen Mary. And she's from Antigua. She's not from the U.S. Virgin Islands. She came from Antigua here. And I believe that everybody from the Caribbean have rights in St. Croix. They have rights in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We all are a Caribbean. We're one. We're not just... Prussians or grassroots from here because our roots came from Africa. Mm. Indians are from here. Mm. You understand? And growing up, back then we used to tell people, oh, you're an alien, you're from here. And, and, you know, even to myself, I've done that. You know what I mean? And mm. I don't, I, I educate, a true education, you learn the true history of who we are as a people. As a people, yeah. And we got to take pride in who we are as a people and understand that even if you're from St. Lucia, you have rights, yeah. You, mm. you, you, you're cheering them here. You're paying taxes here. You, you know, you're trying to better your life and your kid's life here in St. Croix. You have rights here. Mm. And I, I, I ain't going to stand for it no more. That's just my personal opinion. Okay. So the name of the song again is what now? Heroines of the Virgin Islands. Okay. So heroines of the Virgin Islands. So when you say heroines, what, what are you referring to more specifically? The Four Queens. Okay, the Four Queens. The Four okay. Queens started the labor okay. while here. Okay. But the, the, um, but they started, they fought for something through the fire bond. Okay. But now they're using, you know, gunfire to kill off everybody. It, it, it's, it's not a reason for what's going on here. Okay. If you're going to fight for something, fight for the right to better where you're from. Yes. Or where you live in. Yes. I and we as a people need to do that. Okay. All right, so we're going to take a quick listen here. Uh, just take a quick listen. We'll be right back. Million, then we became a shining light of the whole Caribbean. Prosperity from the 1950s on. People came in record numbers from other islands, desperately migrating for a better life. Our brothers and sisters from around the region, working hard for the U.S. dollar, morning, noon, and night. Now, decades later, we are faced with many questions. Economically.
respect and try to promote our history. Behave responsible, man, woman, and children. As we celebrate our past, the present, and future, we must take a pause and reflect. Once, summer. 
the United States bought us for 25 million. Then we became a shining light of the whole Caribbean. Cause we had much prosperity. Got some songs, got that all sorted out. Uh, I just want to say real quick that this is the HO Perspective Talk Show every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We do have a special guest in the studio tonight, Nikki Brooks. Wave to the crowd yet another time. You are streaming out right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we heard that song. Um, uh, Heroines of the Virginia. Heroines yes. of the VI. Um, and so, so you wrote that entire song. You just popped up one night at 3 o'clock in the morning and kind no, of started. I, I didn't write the entire song, but the history... You know what? I could say I write the song. I doesn't put it together. Ah, the the message that's in there, the words, um, 
the feeling right. is all me. Okay. Um, that, that, that's all me. Like is when it, I hear the song and I sing the song, the chills will run through me. Is this something you were thinking about for a long time or is this something just that you just got inspiration? I wanted to do this a song like this for a very long time. Right. It just wasn't the right time. Gotcha. You know, you, I, I had it in me and I, I, I have so many notes about this like for the three years that I was out. Right. This song was already in my notes. Okay. To write. But it just wasn't the time for it. It's the time for it now. No, right. Okay. Right. So, Nikki, tell everybody. Have you, have you, um, uh, um, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Have, have you been playing on the radios now? Yes. Okay. Um, I, I released it, um, I, think, I think it was Friday or Saturday. Oh, okay. And right. um, on Saturday evening, I had a gentleman apparently called from the States, but he's from here. Right. And tell me to come off the radio show <laughs> because why singing is sense. Okay, because gotcha. Because the truth. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you know when you hear somebody ever like, oh, she didn't come, te technically Brooks out the radio. Yes, I yes, would say, oh yes. my God, I feel you know, like, why do? Yes. And he was like, no, she can't get too much sense. That was not for love, man. That's yeah, not definitely, love. definitely. Yes. yes. Um, so I just want to say, um, tell us, uh, as we get into the, the holiday season here, tell us where you're going to be performing at and all this other stuff so that our listeners know uh, what's happening with your movements and stuff. Um, well, I'm doing the December 11th. I will be in the uh, preliminary competitions for the Party Monarch. Okay. Um, I'm doing. You also, you also have to say to Saint Croix Virgin Islands, all that stuff, so our international viewers. Oh, definitely. They, they know okay. all that stuff. Okay. Saint Croix U.S. Virgin Islands Party Monarch Competition, December 11th. Um, I'll be in both competitions, the Groovy and the Jump Up. And um, December 29th, if I make it through, uh, would be uh, in the village down in St. Croix, Fredericksted. Right. And I stand up for that, both, that stage should be really, really big <laughs> and nice. <laughs> um, also in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. And then the 30th is my big show um, for the Calypso Monarch competition um, at Island Center in okay. St. Croix, Mid-Island. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes. And uh, I'm supposed to be doing a show um, on January 2nd, Definitely Parade Road, Fredericksted, you ain't gonna miss it, double decker truck. This is the um, adults, uh, this huh? adults Parade? Yes, the okay. Adults Parade, yes. Right. It's gonna be really nice. Just look for the big truck, two decks, VI flags, Caribbean flags, and me to the top of the truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And um, that night I'm supposed to be doing a show, uh, Girl Power, um, in the village. Also, yes. I heard about that, I'm not sure yet. So that's uh, uh, still. Still, still in the works, yeah. yeah right. Definitely. Okay. We got some of those days, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so as we go on here, uh, Nikki, we have this other song here, Know Me Now. Uh-huh. Um, tell us um, uh, a little bit about that. Is this another Calypso, right? No, this, no the Calypso one is Struggles. Struggles okay. of Life. All but right. he got back to Know Me Now. So that's good because um, Know Me Now came about... <laughs> Because, like I said, I was out for a while, and people had their own reason why I was out, or, oh, she probably lose it, or she ain't coming back, Nikki don't sing no more, so. See, you, I actually, you actually heard all of those when you're walking down in sunny aisles and stuff? And nobody ain't, no, I won't <laughs> hit them in my face, you hit them on the street. <laughs> people tend not to tell you things like that in your face. Okay. <laughs> There's, you know, little comments in here yes, or there, and we yes. in St. Croix, a very small island, we're very close-knit, so if, if, if I whisper something to him, <laughs> you will hear it. So. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. But Know Me Now is about that. It's about people thinking they know who you are, so let them know you now. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. All right, so we're going to... Uh, 2015 again. Yes, 2015. Gotcha. Definitely. All right, so here it is, man. Do you think you know me? So this is it, right? Okay. So we're going to take a listen here, and we'll be right, right back. Stand by.
I just want to say that this is the It's Your Perspective Talk Show every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, <laughs> 8 p.m. until. Uh, go to our website, streaming live from the vi.com. We do have a telephone number, 340-201-9005. Uh, and we do have a special guest in the studio tonight. There she is, Nikki Brooks. Wave to the crowd once again. Hello. So how are you doing? You okay? Yes. You surviving? Okay, good. Um... So Know Me Now is your newest song, mm -hmm. and um, uh, what, one of the things I wanted to ask you about, uh, I kind of caught uh, a part of your interview on another radio station, uh -huh. and it seems like you had a lot to say about what you were just talking about, songs not being played, and yeah. I guess what you're saying that they don't do, uh, they don't do that here in the Virgin Islands, mm -hmm. as opposed to elsewhere where they do it a little bit more often. Yes. Um, and so... What's going on with that? I mean, what, what's the whole vibe behind that? Because this, this is one of the reasons, Soup knows this, this is one of the reasons why we decided to do this show is because, mm -hmm. you, know, we're, you know, we listen to music, we're not musicians, but mm -hmm. one of the things that we were always being told is that, you know, there's no outlet uh, for local musicians. It's true. So th and this is what this is. This is, this is what this is right here, believe it or not. Many things, but this is one of them. That's good. Um, but you, you seem to be very, you know, uh, passionate about, um, I guess, Get in to play the music here? Uh, See, what happened is, is <clears throat> this is for years, though. Okay. I mean, we are a, a very small three islands, but we have a lot of talent here. And we, we, have in, we may not have that well. Actually, we do have enough music where you could play a lot of the local artists and the local band's music. Right. But they tend to play everybody else and then fit us in a little here or a little there or whatever it is, but <clears throat> I get a prime example. Um, I, I, no disrespect to nobody else, but I can only know what I know. Um, like Daddy Jones won't gain a respect here, back in his days, right, you understand? Right, right. I mean, his days are still here. You know, Nita, uh, Daddy Friday, and 17 plus them, everybody has to, had to go out to come in. Right. Doesn't make any sense. You know, no, no, in their own right, they're legends in the Virgin Islands, now everybody, yeah. But there's music that can be played from the local artists. Look, it's carnival here. And you go on some of the radio stations, you're hearing, you're hearing all kind of other songs and, and other artists. They have a bunch of reggae artists that have music that's very good. Mm. Mother Nile, yes. yeah, but Lady Shy, you got a bunch of music you can hear out there. You so know, that's, that's homegrown. And that's homegrown. Yes. And, you know, we promote everybody else. It's carnival. This is carnival season, December. They should have been playing our local music, even if they didn't release it yet. They have other songs they released last year or the year Maybe before four, that. Yes, you yes. can play that. Let the people yes. and fans back in love with, with their local artists. Right. Yeah. Look at Calypso Show. Prime example. You know, we the have... people them charge up, get them pumped up and ready exactly. to go. Exactly. Yes, for, for, yes. for carnival. Yes. It, it, it's, it's carnival. Hello. Hello. I want to hear my music. I want to hear the other music. You want people to come out to release and you want people to support their own, but right. you're playing everybody else. Right. And you're playing the, the local artists. But, but, but why is that? I mean, why is that? Why is don't... It, why is that is mindset? That? Is that it, behavior? It, is it a pattern? Is, I, it, is it, it something that... It has to be a pattern that them? some of the... Remember now, some of the radio stations don't have radio DJs. They have DJs that do spots on, on, on radio shows. Oh, okay, got you. You understand? You. Got you. And, and then, then uh, when the DJs are not playing, the, your music goes into a rotation and it plays accordingly. It plays on a playlist. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yes. And then the playlist full of everybody else's music. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get your song in there every, every one, every once a week or twice a week, it's great okay. for them. Right. Not for the local artists. Artist, yes. You know? Gotcha. And... And you know the DJs, I guess they, they, they're playing what I think people want to hear, but people got 
wake up. You know, you got to support your own. I'll tell you something, Trinidad. No VI. Yes. It's Trinidad. It's Trinidad music, yeah. Right, right, In Anguilla, yeah. Anguilla Carnival, strictly Anguilla musicians. Panta, Exodus, Lioness, all of them. Okay. okay. So they just In had... St. Kitts, isn't me? St. Kitts. We send my music, they're not playing my music down in St. Kitts. They're playing my music there. In St. Kitts. And guess what? During their carnival, the guy say, we're gonna put, she ain't going to last in there, but we're going to play it, but she ain't going to last after we pumping her music all the way again. Yes. St. Martin, the same thing. What I'm saying is that they're supporting their own. Support your own. Yes, definitely. Support definitely. your own. Yeah, you're paying big bucks and you get a talent here. Yeah. Pay the big bucks to bring some of the artists them here. Yeah, great. But let the radio stations play the local artists. I got to say something, though. Okay. Tomorrow, I'm on I-95, and they're going to start doing the same thing I'm telling you about. Okay. That's the uh, Big Fat Morning Show with Chucho and Glenn Drake. Yes, 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 yes. They saw what we were talking about, and that's something they're going to be working on. You've got to play the local artists. So they're just basically making a program change to do that. They have to. Yeah, okay. Because I'll tell you something. People want to hear, the, people want to hear what's coming up. Yes. One or 3.5 on Saturdays with um, Bad Company, he opened the show to the Calypsonians. Now that's a Calypso show. Right. And a few of us will show up. I've been there last Saturday. I know Monarch has been there all the time, but you know, people listening, listen to the Calypso um, competitors that we have. Right. Listen to the music, support, support your shows. Don't Definitely. let the culture die, Definitely. please, Definitely. especially Definitely. not the Calypso. Right. Okay. So, uh, Nikki, St. Croix's first female Calypso, uh, actually, I, actually, I have uh, oops, female in there twice, but uh, St. Croix's first. That's it. St. Croix's first, first female, female Calypso Moga uh, female. female. I like that. Okay. <laughs> That's more power. <laughs> <laughs> Twice as much, right? <laughs> yeah. But you, you, you said uh, you're the first. So tell yes. us about that time, that time in your life when that all came about and, and what you were going through. Yeah, I'll tell you a little. Okay, I'm going to make it long. But I was very young. In 1998, I was 20 something years old. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> and um, I used to sing Calypso all the time. I used to sing with sing. I, I've been on the stage with the greatest, Kitchener. Crow Crow, um, Gypsy, Renegade, uh, Singing Sandra, Tigris, Eastland Orr. I've sung with all. Never a problem, right? Singing and all. Opening the shows all and in, in twine with these Calypsonians. All over the world. Fade, Mighty Pat, everybody I'm singing with. The minute I entered into that arena, all hell broke loose. Mm. Oh, you're a beauty queen. You're too pretty to sing Calypso. You shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> But if everybody know who I am, I'm very stubborn. And if I love something, I go in all the way in. Got my music written. I had my ideas. Right. I sang about a champagne. Um, that's champagne in St. Thomas. It's about my girlfriend who, husband, so I like champagne. Did then. Man, yes. Okay. Okay. Listen to me. Okay. And when I came out, they've never seen none like it because I'm a theatrical person. And I, I do plays also. I, I did uh, Color Purple at the CCT. I won the Sugary Roll. So I, you know, I like that theatrical thing. I think if you could see why he's singing, it'll make you get more, you know, feel mm -hmm. more involved. Get some more fans. But let me tell you something. I put him on stage, William Champagne. That was it. I tore them open. They were so mad at me. I had people cussing at me backstage. How I, how I could win. I is a, I is a, I is a, a R&B singer. <laughs> 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 it was horrible. But you know what? I wouldn't give up the experience for the world because then you get to see who pe people are for who they are. Definitely. Definitely. And I was young, so I didn't care. I won the role. That was it. That yeah. was it. You're okay. done. Okay. I was proud too. Okay. So have there have have there any been any other? Um... They have uh, other female after me. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, I think it's Lady Mac. I think that's it. Okay. I think Lady Mac won after I did. Right. Okay. But I paved that road. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, a very historic. And I paved very that's much. A, and that's a lot of weight on them shoulders. Exactly. Better. And I paved the road also for the females singing in, in bands in St. Croix also. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I've done a lot, you know. Okay. So uh, where, where, where have you traveled to? As far, with bands? Comes, with bands and performing and, and stuff like that. In the Caribbean, the furthest I've been, I think it was where? Um, I've been St. Lucia, Martinique. St. Kids, Antigua. I travel quite a few places. Not, I haven't been Barbados and and stuff and places like that. Oh, you to, have you performed in Trinidad? Never. 
Okay. Boy, if I could get on that stage, that's hard, 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 hard. Nice. <laughs> what, what, about, what, what about like what about in what about in the United States, Florida? Any yeah, Florida. I've sang in Florida, New York, Park. Coming on the park, we have done that. Oh, Miami. Really? Really? Yeah, they in New York. Yeah. Plan? Okay. And um, <laughs> I did um, Image Band, Lincoln Old Wine Festival. David, you say you're from Maryland, right? In Frederick, Maryland. I lived in Maryland. Lived in Maryland. Yes. You know Frederick, Maryland. Yes. Lincoln Old Wine Festival. It's one of the places that you should go. When I tell you about no fighting, no arguing, just strictly wine, is like, you ever seen the Reichel Center? How the yeah. stage is down there and down. then it comes up, oh. this big thing? Yeah. That's how it is. Okay. And it's the huge. Amphitheater. amphitheater. But it's not a theater, it's just out. The stage is down there and just pure lawn, grass, greeny okay. grass, okay. with the wine cellars all over the place. And it's 40 plus. 40,000 plus people. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. And we, I sang there. I used to tear up that place with Image Band. <laughs> we used to sing Friday, um, Saturday, Sunday, two times out of the year for the Reggae Fest and the Calypso Fest. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. 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 That was nice too. Okay. So, so, we, so we, what, what would you say have been your most um, memorable performance that you have performed since you're doing music for you? I have a lot. I have a, a lot of a, a moments that, that, that really touch me, like make me get a chills. You know, when right. you sing, you get a chills. Yes. Um, would be the last year I competed in a Calypso Mona competition. Okay. I'll tell you why. Because they changed our name from festival to carnival. Okay. And that was a problem for me because... You don't see it making a difference? Honestly... I, I don't see it. Um, I, I, I get a little fluttered with that because I'll tell you why. Back in our history, festival was created by, these, by, these, by, by the former slaves. When they did a big crop and stuff, they used to come and celebrate. Everybody used to bring their own, like a potluck. I could, I could call it that. Right. And everybody celebrated. Um, Puerto Ricans celebrated the Three Kings Day. This is why St. Croix festival is was so long it was not only about st croix it was about all the other caribbean islands they all came together and celebrated. To mix up. Okay. you understand and i understand people you know you could you could change and honestly the name is not changed all they're doing business as st croix carnival mm. but the tr the name the organization is still festival mm. but the issue i had with it is not not knowing the knowledge now i know but i wish that they had come out and ask, you know, right. if, if I spoke to Charlemagne about that, then I, then I understand now that the name was never changed. The legal name is still St. Croix Festival, mm -hmm. but they're doing business as the promotion. The promotion as no, yeah, no, no, they're doing business as is like I, when I, and I know that I know that I know how it operates because I used to work licensing, so I know you could have a corporation called this name, but you're doing business, business as another. As. Yeah, so true. I didn't have a problem with that now, but I wish that. The people had a right to they go out and say, hey, I like that. No, I don't like that. Because they first came across that the name was changed because uh, a Calypsonian couldn't compete someplace else. That's what was said. But, you know, people attack a lot and right. rumors are spread like wildfire. <laughs> but I'm glad now that, that I understand that people had, they, they learned more and maybe they will talk about it more. But I think that people would not have been so angry about the name change if they were involved in it right. but i had the right to vote hey i want the right to say you know what i voice my opinion i don't think this is right and or oh, show me where it'll make us make more money or show me where it will still keep my culture alive yes you understand yes. because it is a celebration of who we are as a people mm. Mm. So, mm. that that song i sang was um don't change my name Oh, okay, okay, okay. The lyrics is very powerful. Okay. It, uh, it went back to talking about Saddam Hussein and Hitler because that's how I felt. Mm -hmm. I felt like you didn't give me the right to vote for something that belongs to me, right. my culture, my history, yes. my heritage. So that song was, when I sang that song on stage at night, I, my eyes were watery because it meant so, I'm such a passionate when I, I believe in something, the passion is there. Yeah, I just, it comes out. Yeah. It comes out, however, and I don't care who is affected by it. I deal with me. Yeah. Okay. That was uh, one of my most moments. <laughs> uh, so the other song that we got uh, is V.I. Style. Uh-huh. 
Uh, and then that, uh, that that's that's like a road march song, I would imagine. That's a road march. That's the song you're gonna be. That's on the, the one that you're gonna be in the truck with, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be on the truck. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be on the truck. <laughs> yes, sir. So gonna get on the truck. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so we we gonna drop that song here real quick. Um, so real quick, uh, tell us a little bit about it again. So this is your this is your Soka Monarch song. You're gonna be in the big truck and and uh, yeah, this is this, this is, is like road, march, road, road march, road road march, road march, road march, people, road march. <laughs> <laughs> It's just about being part of who you are, where you're oh, from. Okay. Wave your flag. Okay. All right, so we're going to take a listen, and we'll be right back.
right. As we continue on here, uh, I just want to say that this is the HR Perspective Talk Show every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. until. Uh, streaming live from the vi.com is our website. That's our website that you have to go through to see all our shows. Uh, but we have a special show tonight. Uh, Nikki Brooks is in the studio. There she is right there. Wave to the crowd one more time. I don't want to wave this time. You don't want to wave this time? Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so you okay? Yeah, man. You okay? Yes. Um, so once again, real quick, tell our viewers worldwide where, you, where you're going to be performing at this holiday season. Just kind of get them your, your, you know, your movements. Um, December 11th, which is Friday, um, the Soka Mona competition at um, Kanegeta in, in, in the um, Curriculum Center yes. in the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Croix. And then the 29th is going to be in the village. Mm -hmm. If I make it true, if I make it pass, um, it's going to be 29th down in Fredrickstead, St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, and the 30th at Island Center for the Calypso Mona competition. Okay, okay, okay. Um, if you have anything to say to a young person coming up now in, in, into the music world and the soul um, um, kind of, so whatever, what would be your words to that person? Um, be true to yourself. You have to. Um, if they're going to be doing music, they, there's a lot of people that try to take advantage. They, they, they would. That's just human nature. But you got to be true to yourself. If you want to do a certain kind of music and you believe in, in this certain thing, stay true to what you want to do. Don't let nobody stray you. Mm. You got to listen to people's opinion, constructive criticism, but always stay true to who you are inside. What you're going to lose it. You're, gonna, you, you're just going to lose what you believe in. Mm. You're going to go quick. Yeah. Um, I think that they should. You, you, ever, you ever done R&B and soul? Oh, definitely, definitely. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. okay. R&B, jazz, um, country. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, our guest tonight is uh, Nikki Brooks. She is St. Croix's first female, uh, Calypso Monarch female. It seems kind of strange here, but I guess that's what it is, you know? Um, because it was, it was, it was uh, dominated by men. Okay. I mean, we've had, we've had women compete, but they've never won. They never won. Okay. Never, ever All won. Right. Okay, okay. Until uh, me. Okay. Um, anything that you'd like to say to our listeners out there? Um, you know about yourself, about what's coming up. Any, 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 uh, uh, any future after carnival is done? Uh, here I go calling it carnival. After that's done, um, yeah. anything moving forward into 2016? Yeah, look, look out, look out for my album. It's gonna be dropping in um, February, March. Um, Tw twelve. I, you're gonna have twelve songs. Ten. Ten. Okay. Unless you plan to write the extra two. <laughs> 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 uh, we're gonna have ten songs. Um, I'm doing the international thing and the. the you know what, the worldwide thing. That's what I want to do, the worldwide thing. Right, okay. Because I have a message, and I think I think I have a talent. I think I can go that far. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you excited? Very much so. So you, you ready to go uh, When Friday? I leave here, I go and practice. Oh, really? Okay. 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 For the same show on Friday. Okay. 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 I got you. I got you. And you said, what's your band name? Company. K-O-M-P-A-N-I. Okay. okay. Company okay. band. Yeah. Okay. It's a hot band and it's a, it's a hot. I mean, the band have have their own thing going on, but when they're with me, is company. Nikki okay. Brooks and company. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Right. Definitely. Okay. A new flavor. But my music was done by um, my producer, um, Sherrod Lewis, in Anguilla. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's who's producing my entire album. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You, you're recording it in Anguilla? Everything is coming out? Of Actually, no. Um, I'm not sure yet. We did... We did... Um, we did one of the recordings in Angola and one in St. Thomas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you have any videos out right now? No. Um, um, we, we might be working on one coming up soon. Okay. All right. Definitely. Okay. We're looking for some good camera people that's, that's, that's not going to charge me an arm and a leg. Okay. Yeah. Well, th that's why you're going to be on the truck, right? <laughs> so, you, I guess that, that's... Uh, um, you yeah, know. we definitely get some footage for that. Definitely. <laughs> here. Because VI style is here to stay. Okay. okay. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. All right, Supa, any, any, any final questions, man? Uh, any, any final thoughts for our, our guest tonight, man? Um, I appreciate your time and your efforts for coming up here and uh, continue doing the great work that you're doing, Nikki, you know? And, uh, to our guide, and I want perfect love. Thank you for having me. I was actually impressed. I never heard of your show, but I will be tuning in now. And I'm going back on YouTube to check out other videos. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> to definitely. See who else I have on. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, man. But I think, um, I think this is it's a good program. I really do. 
Well, I'm glad you like it, man. This is just for, uh, it's not about us, it's for our guests. Uh-huh. Um, it's called a talk show, but, you know, we don't do a lot of talk. It's more like a guest show. So uh-huh. we always have guests coming in, telling us what they're doing. Uh, many people, many, many people of all genres of life. Um, the, um, have you, um, uh, one question, have you had um, uh, the Calypso? Can, can, I in, can you invite, can I ask you to invite uh, Hazel? That's for the Calypso show, but you can talk a little bit more about it. Hazel? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I'm yeah. going to get her information for you. Yes, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll link, we'll, we'll figure it out. Is we'll she's, one of the, um, she's one of the, um, no, the she's promoters? A, yeah, she's the one who, who, who runs the, um, the Calypso show. I'm saying that because, you remember I told you before, it's like the art farm is dying. We need to get right. people to come out and support the, the local Calypso show. Okay, and this is the Short Island Center? Yes, okay. the big one, yeah. The big one, okay, okay. Okay. Imagine that the big show in Island Center, and we have to push so much for people to hear and 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 you know right, come right. out. Right, Those music should be should, uh, should be blaring from the first of the month. Come all the way back. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Got you. All right. So Vi Style is what's playing right now. Uh, we want to thank uh, Nikki Books for coming out, man, and spend some time with us. Uh, we definitely have you back uh, at some point. You know, just uh, come on back and and share some new stuff with us. It's not a problem. Definitely. And uh, we'll, Nikki said she's going to be on the big truck coming down here. Uh, we have all the VI flag there. Yeah, yeah like, but VI and the Caribbean flags and be a big thing. Okay, okay. okay. You're going to see it and be really pretty. Okay, okay. Right. And uh, it's a double decker bus. Not double decker, double decker uh, double trailer. Decker trailer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and she says she has the pole for the wires. So. Not me. I, I, me touching no one. <laughs> 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 we have somebody to do that. that that's yes, that, that's yes. that person's task. Yeah. Yeah. What? Check them wires. Check the wires, please. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, thank you. So thank you very much for coming out. Thank you for and, having uh, me. And I just want to say that this is the HR Perspective Talk Show every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. until. Uh, today is Tuesday, December 8th. It's about 9, 19 p.m. Uh, our website, streaming live from the vi.com. Uh, we're in a high-tech, low-tech studio. Uh, we're on YouTube. Shout out to CHS Class 1982. Uh, moving straight forward and up. Uh, any final final kind words of wisdom, Soup? I, I wish everybody a, a blessed good night. Nikki, enjoy your season, Ray. A good one to you, too. Um, everybody be safe. Be enjoy. Enjoy ourselves again, and let's get a show on the road. Yeah, let's get a show on the road. And my <laughs> final words of wisdom are our, my prayers or our prayers. Everybody here, our prayers and his blessings equals one perfect love, man. Every time. Yeah, man, that's how it goes. So we have a, we have another guest tomorrow night for sure. Uh, P-U-M-P-A is going to be in here. It's going to be a madhouse. Uh, so we'll see you then, 8 p.m. tomorrow night, streaming live from the VI.com. We're out. Peace. Rastafari. Yes, sir. Same, no, same.